in a whole fight, say you're on guard, left hand forward, right? Left, you know, on guard like that, you might sort of say, okay, my movement, uh, you know, I'm here, and then bang, right? That's one chisel movement here, yep. where I'm doing the fuxo, like a single hand chisel, and then bang. And then we continue fighting, and the rest of the fight is nothing like chisel. What they mean is, you know, we're fighting, oh. and, we're, you know, <laughs> and, and it's like that. It's not like that, right? You know, so, so it could be one movement, or, you know, from here, you, know, you strike, like, I'm sorry, right? And so, basically, from your chiso, you switch from there to bongso, and then, you know, you finish off your opponent, right? So, basically, it might only be, not even one movement, a fraction of a movement, right? It might only be the hand is in contact for a split second and then it's over. So that chisa was that split second when the hand was there and then bang, fight's over then, right? Yeah. So so what people don't realise is yes, you use the chisa, but it's not like a chisa exercise. We're not standing there like that and fighting, right? Yeah, we we're, we're doing it, but, you know, we just all these techniques. A chi sale technique. So, yeah, I'm fighting here. If he resists here, right, I go the other way. It's still like chi sale techniques, right? That we're combining all together in the one movement, right? So, so it's the element and the short part of the chi sale. It's like breaking it up, and it might be one millisecond of your whole chi sale training those sequences, and you're only using that little bit, right? Um, so, that makes I th yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it, it's quite logical, isn't it? People, yeah. are, oh, you can't use chi sao. We're not using the chi sao. We're using the reflex and what we gain from the chi sao to get an advantage. Once we've got the advantage, we can go on without chi sao exercise, right? Mm. It's just protecting us. The sensitivity will help us create the opening. As soon as someone has any contact it will tell you what to do from your chi sao training, mm. where to find an opening in him. Once you find the opening, then you just finish your opponent off as quick as possible, right? Uh, so, so the chi sao really just helps you find the gap through your opponent's defense, and it might only be for a split, fleeting second, mm. and you've got to realize the hand position is not going to be like in chi sao. It's not going to be like this, no. right? So you're there, it could be, from this position, right? So it's the cross arm position, it's not even you know, the proper chi sao, yeah? But then, you know, basically, you know, I can use any of the chi sao actions, you know, sao and then strike, yeah? Or, you know, bong sao and then come in this way. So there's all the various things that we actually do in chi sao yeah. that, that we apply, but it might be just one movement like that. And then it's back to other fighting.